I have been talking about trends a lot the past few weeks on my channel and it is a subject that you guys seem to really like. So I wanted to talk today about handbag trends. There are a ton of handbag trends out there, but I'm just gonna concentrate on the ones that I really love and the ones that I think are really practical, that are functional, and that may be a little bit more fun for you to add to your wardrobe, but they'll also last for more than one season. So I hope you love this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and thanks so much for watching. Hey there, I'm Jamie and welcome to my channel. So before I get started, I just have to say a huge thank you to all of you that have subscribed to my channel. Over the weekend, I hit over 10,000 subscribers and it has just put me on cloud nine. So I'm really excited about where this channel is going and that I'm continuing to grow and I know I would not be able to do this without you. And so I just wanted to say, Thank you, thank you for subscribing and coming back every week and watching my videos and allowing me to do this. Okay, so the first handbag trend that I wanna talk about, I'm calling utilitarian bags. And these are your waist or belt bags, formerly known as the fanny pack. And then sling bags, which is a very new trend. I think the belt bags have been trending for a little while. And then the sling bag is a little bit new and then the multiple bags. So you've got multiple utility bags in one, and so they kind of stack on the strap or hook in a loop. So you'll see one main bag and then a little chain bag and then another little bag to put something in. So I'm seeing a lot of those as well. But the main thing I wanna talk about is why are we seeing all these bags? And I think it's because sporty fashion is becoming a lot more popular. People are dressing up, but dressing a little bit more sporty. And I think the utilitarian bags really go with this style. And it also gives you a hands-free, easy, and kind of cute option to style with your outfit. So I will do a video on how to style these bags so you guys can see what you can put together with them. And hopefully that'll be coming in the next couple of weeks. But I do want to touch on the sling bag because it is the newest bag that you are seeing. And a lot of the belt bags are worn like a sling bag. And so they have been called a sling bag as well, depending on the manufacturer. But what it is is a bag that just slings basically over the body. You can wear it in the front or you can wear it in the back and it has a lot of utility to it. So there's a little bit more storage than the belt bag and some of them have a lot cuter styling to them, I think. And so this is something that is very popular this season. You can find this style at almost any major retailer and even some of the smaller retailers. So I do think this style is becoming very, very popular and might even overtake the belt bags. But these options are available this season because sporty fashion is so big. And I actually really love them. I have been hesitant the past few seasons and this season I'm kind of into them. So I'd love to know what you think of these bags in the comments below. One of this year's biggest trends is bold color. And I think one of the easiest ways to add bold color to your wardrobe would be with a handbag. And you are going to find lots of different style handbags in lots of different bold colors. So I think you will have a lot of choices. But I wanted to take this opportunity, since I'm talking about bold color, to share my Teddy Blake handbag with you. Teddy Blake handbags are luxury handbags that are made in Italy with beautiful Italian leathers, and they charge less than comparable luxury handbag lines. And so they did send me this bag for free, but I only agreed to share it with you if I absolutely loved it. And I have carried this bag for the past couple weeks and I have to say that I'm pretty impressed and I do think it is a very luxurious handbag. I absolutely love the Italian leather on this bag. I chose the Kim, which is one of their best-selling styles. And this is an 11 inch handbag and the leather is a pebbled Italian leather and it's just gorgeous. And I did choose this bold blue color because I thought that it would go really well with my wardrobe and I think I'm going to have this bag for years to come. And the quality is so good that I really think it's going to last me for many, many years to come as well. And it comes with this beautiful top handle but also a crossbody strap or a shoulder strap that you can adjust. And it has this beautiful hardware with these buckles on the front of the bag that I thought were amazing. And they actually function. So it allows you 
to tighten the straps if you want to. You can see the strap comes through here on the side. And so you can tighten it if you have less in the bag or if you need more room, you can loosen it, which I thought was really cool. And it has the feet on the bottom to protect the bag. And the interior is lined with a microfiber, which makes it easier to clean. And it's a lighter material. So you'll be able to find your things in the bag. And this bag comes in 19 colors. So you can have a choice between a neutral color or a bold color. They do have a bold yellow, orange, red, green, and blue color. So I thought those were really pretty for this season and great options. This bag does come in a 14 inch if you like a larger size bag. And they also have lots of other styles on their website. So I have included a link in the description below if you want to go and check them out. Another trend that I am seeing on all different handbags is hardware and bold hardware. So the hardware is a little bit bigger, a little bit chunkier. Maybe the logo is bigger and in a bright gold color or just buckles or chains. Lots of fun things added to the handbags. And I'm also seeing some bags with a colored chain strap, which I thought was kind of cool. And so I wanted to mention that because you might see a lot of bags that have a little bit more bold hardware on it. And it's because that is very popular this season. The Western trend is really big this season, especially in boots. You're gonna find a lot of cowboy boots, which I talked about in my video on shoe trends, which if you wanna check it out, I'll link it in the description and in the banner but you are going to find handbags that are a little bit more Western too, which is the saddlebag. I am seeing a lot of saddlebags this season. And if you're not familiar with the saddlebag, it usually has this beautiful rounded bottom. And a lot of times it'll have a flap over the front. And these bags were originally worn on the saddle of a horse and it was more of a functional thing and now it has become a fashion thing so you're going to see a lot of saddlebags and i've already seen a ton and i do think it's a cute option especially if you want to add a cowboy boot and a saddlebag you've got a little bit of a western mix into your wardrobe but i also think a saddlebag is great for just an everyday casual bag if you want to add something new to your wardrobe one of the cutest bags in my mind for this season are the crescent bags. And I think this is gonna be one of the biggest trends for the season and in some really cute styles. So a lot of the ones I've seen so far have a really neat handle on them. It might have a cute little twist and it just has one handle, which is awesome because sometimes when you have two handles on a shoulder bag, one falls off and it's just kind of a pain. But the crescent shape is really cool. It can be a little bit more casual and it can look a little more slouchy too if you want that casual slouchier feel but sometimes trends can be really funny in a season where we have the exact opposites on trend and for handbags we have two opposites that are trending one the very large structured bags and then the very large oversized slouchy bags and so for the first one the large oversized structured bags i'm seeing a lot of the envelope bags and clutches that are just a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, a little bit more oversized. And I do think that it, they could be maybe a little bit more functional because they might have a little bit more room to them. And I think the idea is they make a little bit more of a statement. So I thought this was really cool, but I also loved the oversized slouchy bags. So if you need a bag that has a lot of room, say you have to go to the office, or if you want an overnight bag, there are gonna be some really fun options for you in an oversized tote. And I'm seeing puffy, totes and I'm finding ones that are leather. So I think there's going to be plenty of options. And then the last thing, which I think is the most functional are the hobo bags. And a lot of hobos are showing up and most of them are in a larger size, although you can probably find some smaller ones, but I think they just naturally have that slouchy feel to them, but are still very functional and look really good. And I think you can probably wear them on your shoulder, but a lot of them you'll be able to wear as a crossbody bag too. So I think this is a great functional casual bag if you're wanting to do that oversized slouchy look.
I know I've talked a lot about sporty fashion for this season, but it seems to be a theme this season. So one of the trends that I wanted to mention is the actual camera strap, which is a very sporty strap that goes on a bag. And originally we saw it on a camera style bag, which I'll show you what that is here. And you can find these style bags this season still. I think they're still trending and very popular and they come in all different sizes but you're also able to find other style bags that have a camera style strap. So this strap is just a woven material that might have a cool print to it, some cool colors on it, or even a logo from the designer. And so I've, I have found these from high fashion designers all the way to Target designers. So you can find a range of these straps on all different kinds of bags, not just the camera bag anymore. And that sling bag that is very popular, this is another strap that's really popular to see on that bag and some other ones. So if this is something that you want to add to a bag that you currently have, there are options that you can just buy the straps and I'll link some in the description if you want to do this. If you have a cute crossbody and can change out your straps, it'd be a great thing to do. But I love this because it goes with that casual sporty vibe that's going on this season. And it's just a great way to spice up a casual outfit and just make it a little extra cute for the season. Those are all of my favorite handbag trends for the season. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And thanks again for watching. Thanks again for all of you that have subscribed. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. And thanks again, and I hope you guys have a great day.